you said something I wanted to ask you about, though, because the criticism I hear whenever I talk about management is, you know, if you just uh, have compelling learning, you don't have to do classroom management. So what's your response when you hear that comment? What do you what do you say? Um, well, first of all, and this is, again, some a way that I've really, I think, started to embody the principles since becoming a professional developer is whenever somebody does bring a point to the table like that, I don't argue with it. I'll, I, I just lean into it. Like you've got a valid point there. And I would say that if you have really excellent instruction, it's going to buy you some time to get your classroom management ducks in a row. Certainly. I think the reason why I was a decent teacher had less to do with the fact that I had a handle on uh, content delivery modes than it did that I was also coaching three sports and I had built relationships with kids outside of the classroom that then translated and that bought me some time to develop my curriculum. Um, I will say that I think you can have also extremely excellent classroom management, but if you're, if you don't have good content delivery, eventually kids are going to be off task regardless. So I certainly think that they impact and inform each other, but to just imagine that we can only address one side without thinking about the other is, I mean, at this point in the game with all that we know about RTI and MTSS, I think is almost disingenuous. We know that it's a double-edged sword that we have to address both sides. 